Hello friends, I am Dr. Radhika Goel from Biani Group of Colleges. Today I am telling you about change of order of integration. This is topic from integral calculus. As this shows that change of order of integration in double integration means this is double integration. This is function f of x y d a. D a means here d x d y. That means for double integration there should be two variables. We take here d x and d y. There are two methods to integrate it. First one is this. That means in this we uh, first limits are of y a and b and this is f 1 x 2 f 2 x and in second method first limits are c 2 d phi 1 y 2 phi 2 y. These are limits of y and these are limits of x. That means first limits of x are constant limits and variable limits are of y and in this method your constant limits are of y and variable limits are of x. In this method we take vertical strip like this and we solve by this method we take horizontal strip like this. Sometimes it is very difficult to solve your double integration in the given manner and this change of integration is very helpful in that situation by changing of order of integration that means we change order of limits. In this you can see that first integration is about x and second integration is about y and by changing of order we change the order of limits that means your first limits are of y and second limits are for the x. For example, let us take we want to integrate of function f of x y in this bounded region. Firstly, we take vertical strip that means this is your strip. We move this strip from here to here for covering the whole region. That means your strip is start from x is equals to 0 to x is equals to 1. That means your limits or x is x equals to 0 to x is equals to 1. And second variable values are for y. You can see that when this strip cover this whole area then the starting point of this strip is always at this line that means at y is equals to 0 that means lower limit is y is equals to 0 and when this strip is moving from this to this then its upper portion is always on this curve. That means on this curve for this curve y value is 1 minus x by 2 that means its upper value is 1 minus x by 2 and your function is f x y dx dy. When we solve this problem that means first of all you have to integrate about y that means firstly we integrate about y, y is equals to 0 to y is equals to 1 minus x by 2 f of x y dy dx. When we integrate about y, we take x as constant and we integrate it. After the putting values of y, then we integrate about x and we can get our solution. But sometimes it is very difficult to solve this, then we change order of integration and for change of order of integration, our vertical strip become horizontal strip. Now what becomes? When we take what, uh, horizontal strip then your strip is moving like this. That means initially your strip is at this point and for covering the whole area your strip is moving up to here. So, at initial condition your strip is at this on, on this your limits of y is y is equals to 0 and for this your y is equals to 2. That means your limits are from y is equals to 0 to 2. What is about the end points of the strip? For this whole movement, your strip's starting point is always on this line and this line is x is equals to 0. And your last point is always on this line and on this line your x is 1 minus 2y. That means upper value of x is 1 minus 2y and your function is fxy dx dy. One thing is remember that when you integrate firstly for the limits of x, you have to integrate about x firstly. That means when we integrate it, y is equals to 0 to 2 
integration x is equals to 0 to x is equals to 1 minus 2y f of x y dx. Firstly, we integrate about x by putting y as a constant, then we put our limits and then we integrate about y and then we put our limits. So, this these are two, two methods for solving the double integration by changing of order of integration. Let us take an example 0 to 2 a root 2 x minus x square to this v x y dx dy. We want to change the order of integration. Here you can see that these are in terms of x that means these are value of y and this is value of x. So, this is your area y is equals to root 2 x minus x square. When we solve this then you can get this equation and you can see that this is equation of a circle whose center is a 0 and whose radius is a. So, we draw here a circle whose center is a 0 and this radius is a. And second curve is y is equals to root 2 a x that means y square is equals to 2 a x and you know that this is equation of a parabola and this is your parabola. x limits are from 0 to 2 a. So, these are four boundaries who cover the area. So, from the help of these limits we can see that this is your reason in which we want to integrate our problem. In this situation your x are constant that means we take vertical strip. You can see that when this limit cover the whole area that means at the starting your limit uh, strip is at this point and this moves like this. So, uh, initially your strip is at x equals to 0 from x equals to 2a. This is a 0, this is your radius that means this point is 2a 0 that means your x limits are from 0 to 2a x values are from 0 to 2a and the starting point of this strip is always on this curve. This curve means equation of a circle y equals to root 2x minus x square and upper portion of this strip is always on this parabola that is y is equals to root 2x. So, this is our given problem. We want to change the order of integration that means we want that your starting limits will become of y and second limits will become of x. For this we have to take horizontal strip, but you can see here that when this strip is moving from this portion to this portion then this will split in two portions half is, is this and half is this. That means this is your line which divide this area in three portion 1, 2, 3. You can see that in this portion when your strip is moving from x is y is equals to 0 to this point. You know that this is equation of a circle and on the circle a is radius. So, this is y is equals to a line. This is y is equals to a. So, your y limits are for this portion y is equals to 0 to y is equals to a that means y is equals to 0 to y is equals to a and this is a strip its starting point is always on this parabola. Parabola means y square is equals to 2 a x that means x is equals to y square by 2 a that means starting is from x is equals to y square by 2 a and this end is always on this circle circle means x is equals to a plus minus a square minus y square. Now, point is this that we take plus or minus 1. So, you can see that for this reason your radius a this is your a and your x values are less than a. That means your x value for this portion is a minus under root of a square minus y square that is why your upper, upper limit for this portion is x is equals to a minus of a square minus y square your v dx dy. This integral is for only this portion. Now, come to this portion for this portion your strip is this. This strip is moving from y is equals to 0 to y is equals to a, y is equals to 0 to y is equals to a 
a strip starting point is always on this circle for circle x equals to a plus minus root a square minus y square for this portion your x is greater than a so we take x values as a plus under root of a square minus y square and its end point is always on this line and this line is x is equals to 2a that means its upper limit is x equals to 2a v dx dy. Lastly this portion for this portion this is our y is equals to a and this line is y is equals to 2a. So, your strip is moving from y is equals to a to y is equals to 2a that means your limits is from y is equals to a to y is equals to 2a and for x this is your strip. So, strip starting point is always on this curve and what is this curve? This curve is parabola for parabola x is equals to y square by 2a. So, x is equals to y square by 2a to x is equals to and this end point is always on this line this line is x equals to 2a x is equals to 2a v dx dy. So, we change this problem in order change that means in here you can see that first limit is r of x second limit is r of y and here first limits are of y and second limits are of x. So, I can think that with the help of this example you can understand how we can change order of integration in double integration. If you like this video then please do not forget like share and subscribe our Guru Kipu channel.